Hello, Martin, Steve. Hello. Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color, and it is a true honor to speak all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, for thank time. you. Thank you. So first off, um, Celine, I actually want to thank you because I'm Latina and seeing you on my screen was the first time I ever felt represented. Um, I've been a fan of yours ever since. So I wanted to ask you what you hope those who have feel seen through you and your work, especially right now with Only Murders in the Building, get away from it and also have grown with you over the years because it's been a journey and I'm so grateful to be speaking to you. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's so kind. I I, I have to say it's it's been really wonderful because growing up, I remember feeling like I wanted the person I wanted to be was like a like Hillary Duff and and on Disney and stuff. So I I remember not necessarily having a lot of people that look like me on screen. And one day a single mother came up to me with, you know, she had four kids and she just thanked me for, you know, being who I I was, and I just was very honored. So uh, without getting too winded, I'm, I'm just truly honored and very happy to, to do and be where I'm at. Steve and Martin, you both are just absolute legends and you have had such an amazing career. I wanted to ask if you could bring one of your past characters and make them a suspect or a killer on Only Murders in the Building, who would you pick and why? Well, I would definitely pick for Marty Ed Grimley because if Ed Grimley moved into the building, you would know he did it. <laughs> uh-huh. He'd have to have done it. I think Jiminy Glick could be an interesting one. That's what I was hoping. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I love that. And you three are just magic on screen together. I think that is why the show is so beloved. I was curious if each of you could tell me what you think makes the dynamic between this trio so unique and loved. I think it's because we have a sincere respect and friendship right off the top and we all work the same way which is very loose and creating a happy set and i think that shows on the screen yeah well also and also i you know marty and i have worked together for years and years and years and then here's this uh, this new person who kind of throws us off balance a little bit you actually have to, i can i'm doing a scene with marty i don't really have to listen to him <laughs> but if I'm doing a scene with Selena, I have to go, what is she, where is she coming from? What's this going on? And I think it creates a dynamic. I Well, I definitely love being the middleman. I love being the balance of the two because in real life, sometimes I don't know what they're talking about. So it is really <laughs> genuine. So I would say that it's very genuine. I, I agree with what they said. We all get along really well and we we love to work with great people and have a have a good time do any of you have a favorite filming memory from the second season i imagine the first season was so fun to film but then getting to come back and do the second must have been just such a wonderful time it oh, was absolutely that's so hard for me <laughs> i liked uh, the fifth episode where we had a flashback into the 70s just because yes. of the way steve looked <laughs> <laughs> I particularly like a tiny little scene where the three of us are, st- are on a stakeout and we're sitting in a car and we have nothing to do but talk to each other while we're waiting for some for an event to happen. So our characters kind of become a little more vulnerable and a little more revelatory. And it's just a nice, quiet little scene that I like. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is probably where we're all kind of figuring out how to get the painting from Bunny's apartment and marty says you can tell it's our second season oh, uh, i uh, thought that was so fun because i got to do some physical comedy with with the guys and then you know it was really it was like a fun scene huge congrats on the success of the show it's been such a pleasure to speak with all of you uh, and thank, thank you so you. much again thank, thank you, thank you so very much bye bye thank you, you. bye Activists, directors, comments and the lectures, fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me? The hard knock line.